empowerment. We all react better when we have some influence over our situation. So today, I want to walk through a case study around shared decision making. Hello, everyone. I'm Jason. Today, I want to talk about a failed trip brought about by my mistake, but which impacted my kids. My kids, however, reacted very well to the disappointment. The big reason why was that they had a role to play in the decision making about how we would react to my mistake. Let's talk about shared decision making and how it can help when things go wrong. A few weeks ago, I took my boys out into the backcountry. We had been planning the trip for a few weeks and it was going to be a big one. We were planning on getting them on a real Kular climb using a snow gully to ascend to the top of the peak. For spring climbing, you always want to make sure you are climbing the snow very early in the morning, right after the overnight freeze helps settle the snow. That meant making our way out into the basin the night before and setting camp. My boys still can't move fast enough to do an approach to a climb in the pre-dawn hours. We made our way into the basin, first on very dry ground, but eventually over snow drifts and all the problems that come with late day soft snow, feet and legs sinking into the drifts from time to time. In other words, it was hard work. We were carrying camp weight ascending and having to burn through energy by digging our limbs out of the snow. When we found our island oasis in the middle of a sea of soft snow, we dropped our packs and started to unload. As dusk arrived, we started to make camp. And that's when I discovered that I had our tent, but no tent poles. This was a freestanding tent design, so it was reliant upon its poles. Every time a trip ends, I clean and stow my gear. Apparently the last time I took this tent out, I had mistakenly rolled up the vestibule pole with the tent instead of the tent poles. That night, it was supposed to be kind of windy with wind chills dipping below freezing, very little chance of precipitation. Of course, we had our sleeping pads and bags and warm clothing. That left us with options like an open air bivy, using the tent as an outer sleeping bag, or using trekking poles to partially prop up the tent. That's when the boys and I had a conversation. First, I had to tell them of my mistake and tell them how sorry I was for creating the issue. And then we talked through our options. I wasn't keen on the boys' first open-air bivy being a forced one in less than ideal weather. That's not exactly a good learning environment. And for the outer bag and propped up tent options, I had a different concern. My boys are very active sleepers. They meander all over the place, rolling from here to there through the night. That made me concerned about knocking over the trekking poles or moving down to the end of the tent in the night. Either of those could create a situation where the boys were trapped in by the fabric. That could impact their breathing. The boys then decided that the best course of action was to head back out. We could always try the climb on another day. Frankly, I would have pulled the plug on the trip anyway, but this way the boys weren't being dictated to. Their agency was being honored. And as such, the boys were great, even hiking back out what they had just hiked in, post holing through drifts and carrying heavy packs. In fact, they kept telling me not to worry about it. We all make mistakes. This notion of engaging people in decisions that affect them seems obvious, but when we have one person that has considerably more experience or expertise than others, it's often overlooked. It turns out we see more avalanche fatalities when people new to backcountry snow don't speak up when they feel uncomfortable. We have worse outcomes from rescues when the victim isn't engaged to the fullest extent possible and given choices on how they can assist their own extraction. So a day that was an abject dad fail turned into a day of pride at my boys' growth in both thinking and empathy. I'm super proud of you both. You guys really dealt with adversity well today. Not a bad set of lessons from the outdoors. That's the end of this video. Please hit that like button to help us get this video out to more viewers. Please ring that bell and subscribe. And you can check out our website at shortguysbetaworks.com to find gear lists, all of our videos, and additional thoughts and information. Do you have an outdoor adventure that went from 
bad to good? Tell us your story in the comments. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.